mentally. Uh, but I don't think that's what he's talking about. No, no, no but I'm, I'm ask, I was asking you a question. Yeah, sure. That when you're doing, when you're using your modal apparatus, mm -hmm. are you using a possible world, possible world's framework? When I say possible worlds, I just mean in contrasted facts. So yeah. the PSR is still going to be contrasted. So in virtue of a contingent object, we can ask the question, why does it exist as that way rather than another way? That's still going to be assumed in the PSR. So yeah. the question is, look, in virtue of, because it depends on, you, you take God to be an agent, correct? Yeah, but that's that's aside from the contingency argument. Oh, hold on, no, 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 it's not actually. It's no, no, it's, it's, no, no, it's crucial to the contingency argument. No, no, it's not. 100% oh, is. No, no, it's not. Because it, it's, well, you can, well, you can make the contingency argument mm -hmm. and make a separate argument. Like traditionally, that's what's been done medieval, right? You make a contingency argument and you make a different argument. For example, there's the argument from specification or particularization. Okay. That argument is usually made as a standalone argument which acts as a corollary to right. the contingency but argument. But even when you make corollaries for arguments, just so that the audience can understand, you make a corollary specifically because there's something in the first argument that you use that it doesn't cover. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right, so yeah. what is it being covered in the contingency argument? The, the agency aspect. Right, the, so you the, cannot... The aspect. Right, so you can't prove agency by PSR, you're saying? Yeah, I, I don't think so, I mean... Uh, okay, that's fine, no, that's fine. Purely, yeah. saying, but what's saying, going on is, for example, right... Um, sorry, just to catch me up, so you're, you guys are talking about modern necessity, right? Well, you, you, yeah, you cannot... You cannot I'm, yeah, I'm I agree. Show them that they're not proof agency necessarily in a convincing manner. So look, using the PSR alone or using a continuous argument alone. Do you, deny, you, you wait, may be able to, but that's my so. You don't deny the essential properties of necessary beings yeah. until that which they explain. What do you mean? So, I'll give you the actual. Like, yeah, yeah in, in a sense they do. In yeah. a sense oh, they well do. Well, then that's going to be a modal collapse. That's going to be no, a modal collapse. Yeah. No, 100% it. No, no, you're saying that. Oh, you're oh saying I get what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to give a weak inversion of the PSR, well, that's fine. Right? Well, not necessarily. Explain to me why it's going to be a modal collapse. So the why? reason why it's going to be a modal collapse yeah. is because the contingency argument yeah. argues from contingent objects to, to a, a necessary, necessary object. Right, right, necessary right, right. object. So, so the point is that if in virtue of the object, either what explains the contingent fact is, necessary. is an essential feature of the object, well then in all possible of, of, worlds of the, necessary object. Of the object, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. in this case, it's going to be in virtue of something like desire. Right? Now, the desire can either be an essential property of the object or, a contingent or it can be one. a contingent one. Right, I if see a what contingent you're one, to say. Yeah. say that again, say that again. Go so back, go in back virtue on what? of the object... What object? Oh, the necessary The thing itself. We're not, we're not, we're not proving that. We're not fighting that. No, 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 no. We're not fighting that. I'm you're saying, saying, I'm yeah, saying wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to grant so, the argument. No, I'm going to say it's going to entail a video. You're not going to want to. You're not, you're no, no, but no, you're not explaining why. I am saying why. Why? Why is it? Look, first of all, look, first of all there's two things that's going to be entailed by okay. the contingency argument. Well, hold on. Let me explain. Let's explain what you might understand by the PSR. Explain it to the public. What do you so, understand? What is the PSR? What the does it PSR stand for? stands for the principle of sufficient reason. Okay, excellent. For any, for any yeah. object O, if O exists, there's a sufficient reason why O exists. Okay. For every proposition P, if P is so, true, there's a sufficient, sufficient reason why P is true. So what, for okay, every event E, if E occurs, well, before there's a sufficient reason why Before we get there, because I know yeah. it's going to be now, lots of That time. is the strong version of the PSR. Okay, fine, fine. Let's, okay. let's stick with that. Actually, that's a good question. Do you accept strong or weak PSR? Yeah, let me get there. Let me get there. I don't really use the PSR. Like that. But okay. wait, wait, hold on. No, I don't the use the PSR. Wait, 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 but that's, that's no, important. That's important. So no, he's going to have to make the that. argument that the PSR is distinct from the contingency. If you deny the PSR, no, no, you're then you not. can't use contingency. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. That's not true. That is not. That one hundred percent is true. So you're telling me? Why? Why are you telling me that? Oh, the 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 argument. No, hold on, hold on. Why are you telling me that? Oh, because that's just going to be crucial. Do you think? Sorry, excuse me. Do you think Leibniz in the fifteenth century? Excuse me. Let me finish. Yeah, go on, go on. The, the coinage principle of sufficient reason, yeah? yeah? Which, let's just say for the sake of argument, started in the 16th century in the Enlightenment period, yeah? Yeah. Do you think that that coinage is the first and only expression of the contingency argument, or an argument from contingency? No, that that's been not what he's no, saying. No, that's not good, what I'm good, saying. Good, good. I no, excellent. The first no, 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 The reason why... Sorry, I got this. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, no. The reason I say that is because you started off by saying that. You, do you accept the PSR? I'm saying that. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, you, say, you say maybe. That's what no, you say. no, no. I'm saying you can make a contingency argument without the PSR. Right, okay. that's the important that, point. That, that's the important point. point. No, no, let me explain why. Okay. Okay. You've got two different concepts. You've got expl let me say three different concepts. Yeah. You've got the idea of explanation. Okay. Explanate the word explanation. You've got the word causation, mm -hmm. and you've got the word dependency. Okay. And you've got the word contingency. These are four different words. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying are these words synonyms? No. Well, he's arguing that they're no, distinct on, in some me. way. Let me just finish. That's Are fine. these words synonyms or not? Well, I'm going to take it that they're not. They're not synonyms. No. They're not synonyms. So a cause is different from a dependent thing. A dependent thing is different from an explainable thing. An explainable thing is different from a contingent, uh, thing. contingent thing. So there are some things that a contingent thing has that a dependent thing doesn't. In explanation, there's some things that an, expl that an explanation has that a cause doesn't. In, in explanation, in definition. Right? Would you highlight one of those? Hold on. Now, the PSR depends 
fully on the idea of explanation. Because if we're going to say, for example, that this, this bottle here it has to have an explanation outside of itself. Now, the key word being what? Explanation. I can grant you one thing. Because when I was looking at it, Mario Bungie wrote a book on causation. Sure. It's one of the magnum opuses on the, on the subject, actually very good on this, yeah? And he's, he says, he looks at all the definitions of causation, he says causation is the following. It's the power of C to, it's the, it's, it's the power of C equals E. C equals E. Okay. So, so he's basically saying that, uh, if A then B, sorry, if A then B. There you go, yeah. but that's what we said, A, A then B, B right? Yeah, so. it's the same thing, if, if A then B, right? Yeah. Which if, if, if A, there's a relationship of conditionality between this and that, right? That's true. It's going to be a Thelma relation. That's an Thelma relation, yeah, yeah, so that's Thelma. an exponent. Yeah, yeah. yeah accept, accept, accepted. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying to you. I'm granting you that much. But, but hold on, a cause yeah, is not the same as a dependent thing. Because a dependent thing is, by definition, something which relies on something else. A cause, by definition, is something which brings rise to other phenomena. Yeah, I agree. Okay, excellent. So, so all I'm saying, all is, I'm saying is the following. I'm, I'm, I'm putting to you right now mm -hmm. that you can make an argument from dependency, mm -hmm. which is effectively an argument from dependency, because, because it, traditionally it was called that. Well, yeah. you said that they're distinct terms. But no, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying Traditionally it was called that. All cosmological arguments, okay? No, so I'm, I'm, now you're, now you're bringing a new key listen, term in. Listen, 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 listen. Let me, you don't even need to say cosmological science. What point? The point is this. You can make an argument from dependency that is completely bereft of concepts of PSR. For example, I can make the following a proposition. The proposition that this is the argument in one sentence. My argument. This is my argument. If you want to engage with it, you can. Okay. There cannot be a state of affairs yeah. where only dependent things can exist. That's the argument. Okay. Now, this argument is bereft of the PSR Why? of, of because it's, the word explanation is not being used at all here. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be used. You're saying, you're saying, you're saying it's, it's wait, wait, if, if I could, if I could, if I could just explain. So you're, you're saying that, okay, so the point that you're making, right? Yeah. You're saying that the PSR is going to be bereft of the argument that you made here, that anything for all that exists, there cannot be only that which exists, which is contingent, right? Dependent, sorry. For anything that exists, there cannot be only that which exists, which is dependent. Or contingent. I haven't put it that way. You haven't said dependent or contingent? No, I have no, no, I haven't put it in the language you just put it. You just That's you fine. Just, I'm I'm re no, no, I'm I'm rephrasing no, 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 it. That's fine. It. Okay. I didn't say that. Well, exactly. That's fine. That's fine. No, you no, you no. just say exactly. Well, my articulation it's was different. That's fine. And I, I agree with it. I said that I was rephrasing. No, no but my but a rephrasing which is going to keep the same content is not really not bad. Not really. I don't want it. I don't want it in that way. Okay, that's fine. Then uh, what's the way you want? As long as it tells the same. No, no. Yeah, if it tells the same thing, yeah, it's fine. It's but if he wants it in specific terms, then it's no, fine. As long as it does. Why? Who? Who said that? No, no. I'm saying. Look, so as long he, as if I said something and you said something and I said it in a different way, if what I'm saying entails the exact same relation as what you're saying, then fine. Because argumentatively, two things can entail the same thing. But one is argumentatively true and one or can be valid and one is argumentatively invalid. Yeah, but both premises, but the argument itself can no, still no, be sound. No, that's what you're saying is false. Valid. Because I can say something. Wait, do you think there's a distinction between soundness and, and validity? validity? No, I don't. There's no, wait, no, no, there is a distinction between validity and no, soundness. No, of course. Okay, sound right, but you, you said no. Look, so, yeah, so, 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 so. A, yeah, valid, a valid thing is something which obeys the laws of logic, yeah. and a, a sound thing is something which has true premises. No, and, it's no, actually no, no, true. No, no, and, it, no, and it's no, valid it's, as well. It's true and valid. Yeah, so you can have something yeah. that is valid without it being yeah, true. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, that's what we're saying. But what we're saying is... What I'm saying to you is... What I'm saying... I'm not sure if we're talking cross purposes or you're doing this on purpose. No. All I said is the following is that there cannot be a state of affairs where only dependent things exist. Right, I'm going to repeat that. No, so. I, so, so do, you, do you understand there this? Yeah, there cannot be a state of affairs where only dependent things exist. That's, my that's important. That's, that, that, that's your argument. Right. Your argument, right, remember, you said it's bereft of the PSR. Now, you're going to have to explain what you mean by bereft of the PSR. No, no, I didn't say bereft. I said... It, you did. You said no, bereft no, of the PSR. You did say bereft of the PSR. We started yeah. off by saying four different key terms. Yeah. Causation. Contingency, explanation, dependence. and dependence. And then you said something. Now, what word did I use right. in this sentence? Right. You are specifically using dependence. Okay, excellent. So I didn't use the word what? Explanation. I didn't use the word explanation, did I? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, excellent. But that so doesn't no, mean that no, it's no, not correct. That doesn't mean it's correct. No, no. Because remember, the no, key, no, I can, I can no, give you all no, of the no, instances no, of it's what you're saying. No. What I, I used the word dependent. I did not use the word explanation. And we're granting that value, yeah, but your argument fine. still has to use the PSI. Yeah, we still no, has to use no, it you can't. Absolutely. No. Not because if you, if, if you no, say, if you no, say that the, that's the PSI a statement, is denied, no, no, wait, hold on. No, it's, look, look, the no, fact that you say no, that, the problem no, is this. No. If I may explain, I can explain to you why it tells PSI. 
just to clarify, when you're saying yeah. it's, when I am understanding what you mean by bereft of the PSR, that means that in the argument that you're using, yeah. the PSR cannot be applied in any sense. No, that's what I'm saying. Neither, and even if that's not what you're saying, there's that's another thing, there's another interpretation. So let me explain that it then. cannot be implied in any sense. No, that's not what I'm saying though. Right, so what are you saying specifically that it's no, bereft of the no, PSR? Let me explain it. Explain that Let me explain bereft. it very clearly. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. The PSR is an articulation of the contingency argument that was put forward by Gottfried Leibniz, okay? And those who came after him. Do you understand me? Yeah? yeah. The PSR okay, is a excuse me, excuse me. The PSR is a principle. Know, it may have been coined by Leibniz. Are, are, you, are, are you listening to me? I am, of course. Oh, excellent. So the PSR has a very particular articulation which depends on pr principles of sufficient reason, but also... Uh, the, the articulation idea. is... Well, look, we're talking about the historical context. No, of, excuse, excuse we're just me. talking about the, no, the but statement. No, that's what so. I'm saying. I'm saying to you that, that, yes, the word contingency is used. Causality is used in some of his books. So, yeah, but that, that's, it, that's not as important as the actual PSR Allow itself. me to finish. Yeah, go on, go on, of course. Allow me to finish. Yes, he even uses the word causation. Yeah. I've looked at his books. Like the word, what's it? Modad, mo, monadology. That's the, that's the book that Mon he wrote. Oh, monadology. Yeah, his, his book is called Monadology, right? I've looked at the, uh, the articulation of the argument in that book, and I've looked at it in other books. And what I've seen is that he uses the terms explanation, he uses the terms causation mm -hmm. and he uses the terms contingency. These are the terms that he's using. Sure. I'm postulating to you now, all I said to you in the beginning was, it is possible to, uh, to articulate versions of a contingency argument without reference, explicit reference to these key terms. Okay. And, oh, that's fine. Well, excuse, me, excuse, me, yeah. excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. The definitions not, of this, fine. no, it's not fine because yes. the definitions of these key terms are different. So for example, okay. If, what is the word dependent mean? If you go on even a vernacular definition of the word dependent, sure. the dependent thing is something which depends. Which vernacular? Vernacular, go on a dictionary definition. Oh, Oxford oh sorry. dictionary, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. If you're uh, like a layman's, if I go now somewhere right. You mean a colloquial definition? Whatever, sure. whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Is a, it's a synonym. Yeah. Go, on, go and find online what the word dependent means in, in human language, in, yeah. in English language. Yeah. Yeah. It means something which relies on something else for existence. Yeah, something sure. which relies upon something else for its existence. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Now, it's different for me to say. This bottle de depends on something else for its existence. Mm -hmm. Then for me to say, this bottle requires an explanation outside of itself in order to, ha uh, this, uh, this uh, what do you call it? A bottle de depends on an explanation outside of itself in order to be explained. Okay, it's so explicable. There, there is a point so there. So that's that what I'm saying to you, that's, excuse me. Okay, fine, all I'm fine. saying He's to you still... is, if you want to deal with the argument at hand, my articulation of the argument Although I can defend the PSR, I haven't got a problem with it. I think it's a good argument. It's not really the argument of choice for me. The argument of choice for me is using my articulation. You want to deal with it, you can. Yeah. My argument is as follows. It's simple as this. You cannot have a state of affairs. I'm, it's a postulation. I'm postulating. I'm saying to the people. I'm yeah. saying to you. I'm saying to you. You cannot have a state of affairs where only dependent things exist. Okay, because it leads to a range of different absurdities. Now we can talk about those absurdities if you like. Contradictions and absurdities and problems. That's what I'm saying. You just so did then, PSR. Yeah. You, you just did it. You just so, so hold on, hold on. Yeah, Alex, yeah, yeah, please, please, please. Yeah. Yeah, if it's okay, no, 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 no. This, this is the problem. This, this is the thing that you said. No, no. You made it's a similar postulate. To PSR. If it's I can finish. No, no. Right, so we gave you like really good ample time to speak. And I appreciate the fact they gave ample time to speak. I don't have water, but I'm thirsty, but it's fine. Here's the point. I was just making a joke, it's like irrelevant. I'm trying to keep the thing going. Okay, go ahead. So, you said to everyone with the huge arms that you have that you made a postulate, right? With my skinny arms, I'm going to say that your postulate has to require the PSR for it to make sense. So when you say okay, the postulate, for example, that, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and see if I can remember exactly the words that you said, because again, there was a problem. There cannot be a state of dependent things in reality. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. So, so, there so, cannot be that. a state of affairs where every single thing is dependent. No, either. Okay, what did you exactly say? I said, there cannot be a state of affairs where only dependent things yeah, exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would, okay, so how is that different from what I'm saying? I don't need to, I, I, I'm, again, because be the content reason. of the statement what is what's important. You're getting it wrong yeah, because, but, no, no, because I'm getting what you exactly are saying wrong, but That's the actual content of the well, statement no, is important. Hold on, hold on. I don't care. It's like saying, it's like saying, it's like saying, it's like saying, it's like saying two plus two and four are different things. They're the same thing, right? You're, if you articulate uh, it the not, same, I, then the articulation is the same. I don't agree. I right. think that I want my articulation to be dealt with. Okay, okay, okay. Just repeat it one more time, so then we can all be clear. There cannot be a set of affairs where only dependent things exist. Okay, there cannot be a state of affairs only where dependent. only dependent yeah. things exist. Yeah. Right. Is there a reason for that? Yes, because uh, believe it. <laughs> That's PSR. That's PSR. You just done it. You just done it. You just did, you just did, you just did, you just did PSR. You just did PSR. You just used. Not, you, that's a sufficient you're reason. Not, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Is there a reason why this postulate is true? Are you, are you asking me to justify my premise? No, I'm asking it's if the, there is are you a reason why this postulate is true. Are you, are you yeah. with me here? Are you listening? I, I'm, I'm very much with you. I'm here. I I'm totally close. agree with you on the fact that there is a great flesh that joins what I am saying 
with the principle of sufficient reason mm -hmm. spoken about by Gottfried Leibniz. I understand that, and I think everybody understands that. The academy understands that. If I may but touch on let this me point, finish. Though, but the academy, excuse important. me, the academy also understands the, the distinction between these arguments. That's why they name them different things in all languages that have been articulated in. I'm saying that, for example, if you have a peer-reviewed paper in the philosophy of religion journal, right? which talks about the principle of sufficient reason. It's not seen as synonymous with an idea of the Imkan or the Burhan by Ibn Sina or whatever. I agree. So, I okay, agree. The distinction between, so what I'm saying is... So the distinction between a causal principle, which yeah. some arguments employ, and in the PSR. You're in the, all arguments, yeah, the yeah. PSR is used, but not in all arguments, no, the causal principle you're, you're is not used. So I don't have to ask you for a causal principle. Have you read Mona, Mona Adolji? No, I don't have to read it. No. I'm not saying whether you have to read because, it or not. No, no, I'm asking you a question whether you have read it. The point is, let's say... Have you read Mona Adolji? Have you read it? No, I don't need Okay, so you, you're talking about something you have no knowledge on. No, no, no I'm talking about something no, that needs to be... The problem is this. When you are, are you using certain... If I may finish, please, thank you. So, when we are using certain languages, right? We're using certain languages. The PSR is a term that starts with Leibniz, for example, when he uses certain terms to establish in his academia in Germany. He also makes... Leibniz. Gottfried, yeah, Gottfried. Okay. So Gottfried makes certain like emendations in his work, probably around like say let's say ten years before he died, or he talks well, about you like this. Book, so you don't know. I what haven't, he does. No, I haven't read that specific part. That's why he articulates. I'm, talk, I'm talking about his letters. We're talking about the principles. Well, no, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about his letters. No, but you don't know his argument then. No, no I'm talking about his letters that he makes about, afterwards, no, right? But you're articulating an argument. You haven't even read the book. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm no, no, articulating no, no. an argument that stems even beyond the book because the principle of sufficient reason, even if coined, yeah, beyond you, even even coined by Leibniz, you and I will both agree that academics can still use the PSR even if they haven't read specifically the magnum no, opus of, 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 of Leibniz. You're, you're not now, argument. What I, no, no, the argument that you're okay, making I'm is making, that you can make a postulate argument. without the PSR. Okay, That's well, the postulate that you made. Listen to That's me. the postulate I, I you made. I didn't say that. Okay. I, okay can I, you said it's bereft. Right? No, you said it's bereft. No, you said it's bereft no, of the PSR. That's no, what he I, said the entire time. Okay, well, let me explain. Maybe it's Yeah, what bereft means. That's what I said before. Let me cross purposes. Maybe you don't understand. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Maybe it's my fault. I. I'll take responsibility for my actions, yeah? yeah that's fine. Let me make it clear again. Go on. I'm saying, yes, I sympathize very very clearly academically with the ideas of the PSR. I don't necessarily even disagree with it. Strong versions of it. No problem. What? But that wouldn't that's tell me to collapse. collapse. That, that's the argument that, that he's making. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally, all academics have accepted that. Even the SCP no, entry no, that's I haven't, recently I haven't, been I haven't, written. I haven't finished what I've just said. I don't necessarily even disagree with it. Okay. However, Sorry. however, I'm not making the argument. My argument, if you want to deal with it, you can. If you don't, I don't want to waste your time. I honestly, have, look, it's, it's as follows. I, my, excuse me. My argument is as follows. If you want to deal with it, you can. Mm -hmm. You can talk about the PSR. We all know now you haven't read the book of... of uh, I, I didn't have no, to no, read no, the Agnobus. So, I can read, read things about the PSR. You have not read Monadology. It's like talking about the... So that's, Islam, hold on, hold on. That, that's a bit fallacious. It's, no, it's not. Me yeah, not reading it. one specific it's book okay. that starts the arguments for the PSR no, does not mean that I can't understand the, the PSR. Like for example, if you haven't, for example, if you haven't read um, Aquinas' oh, commentary on yeah, the sentences, I, that doesn't mean that you haven't but, understood Aquinas. That just but, means that you haven't read yeah, one of the Magnum I understand what you're saying. Right. So, with all due respect, again, I, I can't take you seriously if you haven't read the primary text. Again, again, the primary. Hold on, hold on. There's no Hold on, There's no primary text for a logical principle. It's like saying, oh, because you haven't read. There is actually. Okay, so. I'll give you a comfort example. If you haven't read the prior analytics, you cannot talk about the laws of identity. Of course not. No, no, I'm not saying right, that. Right, I'm yeah. saying That's that exactly I'm what you're saying. You're saying that you can't take me seriously because I haven't read this specific you're, you're book. That's yeah. false. Okay, listen, excuse it's me. a false argument. I'm, it's not an argument. I'm, I'm just giving out my, my uh, opinion. That's false, sorry. It's a false opinion, I should say. It's a, a really bad, false opinion. It's, it's a bad opinion. opinion. Yeah, people can have bad opinions. It's a bad opinion. Okay, excuse yeah, me. I mean, by false, I mean bad. It's a derivative. Whatever. Yeah. What do you mean, whatever? That's my opinion too. Okay, your opinion is fine. I'm That's good. And I agree, I accept that. That's good. What I'm saying to you is this. Instead of talking about a PSR, yeah. I have an argument I'm putting forward today. Yeah. Yeah. Since you guys are trying to be analytic philosophers by the looks of it. I'm not an analytic philosopher. I'm a continental. Oh, a uh, continental cool. philosopher or something like that. Yeah. Okay. You Excellent. know what continental philosophy is? Yes, I do. It's, it's kind of like the difference between, uh, there's two main schools of thought in, in, in the Western academia. Yeah. By the way, what, what is your credentials for, me to, for you to be asking me this question? I'm just asking, I'm just a person in the park. Okay, yeah, continental philosophy like Nietzsche, for example, would represent the school of thought where it's more about subjective like, like, experience, what, what, what is more that? about subjective experiences where demonstrative proof and using valid argumentation is not at the, uh, at the forum. That doesn't really tell me the distinction between... Yeah, yeah I mean, there's, there's, there's different... Well, even analytic anyway, philosophers use the same thing, no right? Problem, like, that's no not really problem. a but definition. Most, most schools so... of thought here in the, in the West, for example, they're yeah. analytic philosophy schools. You guys are undergraduates, right? Well, no, I don't go to uni. Yeah. You don't go to uni, no problem. It's not, a, you don't, it's not a prerequisite. What I'm saying to you is as follows. Now. Go to the second point. I have an argument to make. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you put your sunglasses on all of a sudden. Because I can't hold them anymore. Okay, no problem. What I'm saying to you is as follows. 
question is, I have a postulation to make. Yep. Yeah, we've it's got not, I agree with you, there's some aspect of the PSR, mm -hmm. which is there. Mm -hmm. I agree, I totally, yes. Yeah, yeah. I totally yeah, agree. Great. It's not the same articulation. That's what I'm saying. It's not the same argument. I don't yeah. disagree. No one's disagreeing. Perfect. That Perfect. Perfect. I don't disagree that the, I, the arguments are identical. They're not I'm identical. just saying, given that you've made a postulation, yeah. there is has there to a be reason, reason why. as to why that postulation is true? What we're saying Rather is not true. What, what we're saying is this, is that PSR whenever is anyone makes a postulate, they have to use the PSR. Right, That's what exactly. we're saying. Are you, are you, is there a reason for that? Is there yeah. a reason for that? Yeah, what's the reason? Yeah, because of the impossibility of the contrary. Okay, so Let's you, say you that take, you, you, you take I'm not denying the PSL. I'm not denying that, but what we're saying is, well, well, if well, I can just clarify my yeah, point right here. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Well, and just to clarify for every single person here, including yourself, what I'm saying to you and what he's saying to you is that anyone that makes any postulation, any argument at all, you have to use the PSR to I some I degree. A strong version, I, I either a strong or weak version. I, I That's what he's saying. To you. I don't disagree with that. Okay, okay. Amen. Great. Right. 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 I, I don't disagree with that. Are you okay? So now we have to go. What if, version if, are you using? No, using no, no, no. One? I'm not using that though. That's you just. No, no. You said that in your I argument you've used some form of the PSR. So either you're using the strong form or the weak form. That's what we're saying. There's only two options. I know you guys have come with the PSR. I'm not defending the I didn't, PSR. I just came randomly. No, no, you, and then no, I got you gave an argument. You spoke to me about PSR, no, no, bro. No, you gave an you came out and spoke to me about PSR. <laughs> and then, then, then you talk about modal logic, S5. And then, and then I, didn't, I didn't mention S5. No one said S5. I, I Excuse me, what is modal logic? Well, how's it represented? Well, I didn't mention S anything ever, ever about S5. Okay. I, 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 spoke about the, I spoke about the K modal, axiom. Excuse me, hold on. I spoke on. about the K axiom. Modal logic is, axiom. is abbreviated as S5. No, no, no. There are different systems in modal logic. Modal like logic is S5. There are different systems. There's S4, there's S5 modal logic, there's a T axiom. So there's there's a no logic there's the logic where it's S5 then. It's not just S5, yeah, Because there's, there's controversy no, you, in no, Melbourne. You mentioned amongst, S5 in amongst I did K -axiom. not mention S5. No, but you were talking about the K-axiom. Uh, yeah, the K-axiom. That's an S5. No, 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 no. The K-axiom is presupposed in S5, but yes, the K-axiom is in the first whatever, initial axiom. Whatever, you're wasting my you're wasting time. Then it's not just S5 then, is it? S4 and S5. It's not really. No, no. No. Here's the principle, but it's not. No, no, no. Because no, no. the, look, the S, look, finish with this. S four sounds. Okay, as okay as excuse me. With yeah. respect, you're not qualified. It doesn't. And you're not read. So, so here's the just, point. That's not no, an that's argument. Not that's not an argument. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. That's an argument from authority. I could say. I could. I could say that. I could say that an eleven-year-old doesn't know anything about high school. They could give me the same argument. It wouldn't matter. Okay, you have. Again, again. I can say that I have never read a single book in my life. It wouldn't matter. That's an argument from authority. Objective fact. But does it matter? I'm making it. Okay, you're, okay, okay, so you're making no, a fallacious argument then. No, That's fine. No, so a qualified no, person is making a fallacious argument. argument. It's not, it's that makes no sense. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. It's not, it's not come on. 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 Come you're saying, I'm, I'm okay, okay. You're you're saying I'm not qualified. Right, right, right. True or false? I'm squeezing the wall. I'm squeezing the wall. I haven't given any credentials. I don't need to. Is it true or false? I don't need to. Is it true or false? I'm not going to verify the claim. Is it true or false? I'm not going to verify it. Is it true or false? I don't need to verify it. Is it true or false? You we don't need to verify you it. You haven't read the book that you're. You don't need to verify it. Because we're not, again, we're not studying the history of Gottfried Leibniz. We're looking at the PSR as a basic principle. And we know that. And that's okay. You're not tested. You're not tested. That's fine. Okay, I'm not testing. What? Wait, wait, hold on. It doesn't matter. I'm not testing. What? That's not not something that needs to be brought to the Point. Exactly, I like, like you're, you're making an argument, making which is point. wrong, because your argument. How do you know? You're making an argument that's wrong. You're a layman. It doesn't matter. You're a layman. Okay, okay, I'm, okay, a, I'm a layman, but you're that's, that's not an argument. Just say that you're a layman, it's not an argument. Point. And you know your this. Your argument okay, entails that God hasn't got anything. My argument is anything. Your argument entails this is staring. My argument is as follows. Do you want to deal with it or do you want to run away? Let's deal with it. Okay, okay, but no one's running away. You keep trying to say that you're qualified and we're not. That's not supposed to be something. Okay, are you qualified? Now you're asking me a question. I'm asking you if you're qualified. I don't want to verify. You don't want to verify? That's fine. You even do that's what I did. 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 Uh, that's what I did. Okay. So, so then, so then, it's, an, it's so then, so then, hold on, hold on. So then, it's one unverified person with another unverified person okay. having a conversation. Okay. We agree on that. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Do you want to yeah. say that? Absolutely. Okay. There you go. Okay. So now that we, now that we've done it, let's get the postulate again, right? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Go on. My my postulation is false. Yeah. Do you, my, my postulation is. Yeah. Go on. Oh, pins and needles. Can I have a state of affairs? Yeah. I'm telling you this because this is my PhD thesis. Okay, that's okay. great. Okay, that's completely fine. And anyway, um, th this is how I put Where's your PhD thesis? I'm just saying. Okay. It, it doesn't really matter. No, no, that's no, what I'm saying. No, no, it doesn't no, matter. No, 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 let, them, let them have their chance. They do this all the time. Though. I know, but let them You've have their chance. You've never seen me before. Let them have their chance. This is my PhD thesis, being mm -hmm. peer reviewed. That's great. Many people have seen it. Yeah, that's And I want to see if you guys have a chance at defending it. Yeah. It's been through a peer review process. Yeah, that's really So let me see if you can go can answer it because I don't want to waste my time and yours. I have a, a chapter of my dissertation,
about Ghazali's argument, I have a separate chapter about Avi Sela's argument, I have a chapter, and all of them are different forms of the continuous yoga. True. At no point in my academic career did anybody tell me, actually, you're, you're mentioning the PSI everywhere here, you might as well just do what you want. I've spoken to academics that's at the highest, the excuse me, all due respect, not, you guys aren't I'm qualified, making. I spoke to people at the highest level, okay, that's great. I that's don't the care, I'm I'm, I spoke to, and all of them told me, this is different from this, it's different from this, it's a different yeah, chapter. I've told that's, you, that's, that's I, not the point you're making. Problem. I told you there's a people distinction. People can take your view or they can not, take the view of the academic. There is a distinction. No problem. That's not a that's distinction. They no can problem. take either the no view problem. that you're doing no, or the view that you're proposing. Now, the view that you're proposing okay. necessitates PSR to be explained. my time. I'm going to give you my argument. My argument no is this. No your time. This is the argument of my dissertation. That's why I've been able to say it with great fluidity. And I've been repeating it and you haven't responded. We've responded responded multiple times. In fact, hold on, hold on, no, 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 so this is the point. So you what then, okay, so either you repeated the multiple argument multiple times or you haven't said it. Don't say so, okay, either you've repeated the article, argument multiple times or you haven't said it. Do you want me to so say again? when we what are addressing your point, hold on, the what's same, hold on, I'm addressing the statements that you made so before, which was about your PhD thesis. I'm just going to finish the argument that's going to be happening now. So when it comes to the same academics that review your paper, they, in their reviews of your paper, because I'm sure you've received reviews, obviously there are certain academics, um, postgrads that will help you with the paper as well when you're writing it, because you've been writing it for three years. These same individuals will tell you ways that you can improve the paper or ways that you can make your are argument you more plausible. giving me academic advice now? I'm not giving academic so advice. What, what, I'm just telling you the about? process. That has nothing to do with it. I don't need to know what the I'm talking about, what I'm talking, What I'm talking about specifically is that How even those same people for? that are reviewing your work, what about the same people that are reviewing your work, right? Yeah. They will at least accept in part that these different contingency arguments yeah, what saying? underlies them is the PSR. Uh, now they don't explicitly they, refer to the PSR. That's just true. That's just true for the contingency the arguments the in general. Is, it's just and we know that. To be true for all of them. There's going to be a distinction in a causal principle, I, 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 which, you're not, which contingent you're, you're, arguments, you're, which not specifically metaphysically for the PSR. Yeah, okay. But know the PSR is going to be presupposed in all of the right, that's what we're saying. You're talking about PSR. Let me give you my argument. My articulation. If you want to deal with it, you can. If you don't, everyone's going to see that you have. Here's the point. You there cannot be a state of affairs where only dependent things can exist. Is, is there a now, reason why that's true? No, no, I'm not asking is there a reason or not. That's my question. Go, go ahead. That's not a question. That's my postulation. Do you want to respond right. to it? Okay, so... Do you agree or disagree? I want to I wanna respond to the... I want to respond to the postulate. So if I'm going to respond to the postulate... Yeah. Do you agree or disagree? Then I'm going to respond to it in this way. Do you agree or disagree okay, okay. with it? Okay, okay. I'm just going to use Hitchens Razor. Do you agree or disagree with it? I'm going to use Hitchens Razor. Yeah. Do you agree or disagree? I'm going to use Hitchens any, Razor. I don't, do agree I don't see really any evidence to believe in this. Oh, really? Yes. Right, there's, so no, there's, not, been, there's, oh, there's really? not been a sufficient reason given. Oh, really? <laughs> so when a sufficient reason is given, then really? I can agree then or not. Can agree. Now, yeah. I can, I can, I can okay. tell you that the, that the statement that you're saying is cognitive. We can agree there. The statement oh, has so cognitive do you agree information. Or disagree with it? I don't agree or disagree with it because there's okay, not so been a sufficient reason given. Oh, you don't agree or disagree with it? I can dismiss so it as agnostic. just that, so a postulate. So no problem. So you're I, can, I can dismiss it so, just so as a postulate. So you're postulate. ignorant of its truth? I'm not saying I'm ignorant of its truth. Well, I'm saying, no, no, I'm That's saying that there's no it. sufficient no, reason for know. that. No, no, no. no. I'm saying that, okay, you're it's using, hold on, hold on, it seems to be the case that you're using certain buzzwords to sort of like articulate this point. But what I'm going to say, no, no, what I said, what I said is that I can use Hitchens razor. Hold on. I can just dismiss the claim as a claim in general. I'm not saying that I'm dismissing the claim as false. I'm not affirming the claim as true. You can dismiss that. I can say, I dismiss that. I'm asking a question. You can dismiss that if there's no sufficient reason given. And there's going to be sufficient reasons given for your existence. Okay, no problem. I'm asking a question. Yeah, go on. The, the proposition, oh, there cannot be a state of affairs where yeah. only dependent things exist. Yeah. You're saying you don't agree or Is that disagree. proposition contingent? No, I'm not asking questions. I'm asking you questions. I'm asking it's, a you questions. it's either a contingent or a necessary proposition. Do you agree or disagree? It's either a contingent or necessary proposition, my friend. That's what's going on. Do you agree or disagree? Given that it's either contingent or necessary, then I can agree to one, the one or the other. Yeah. Do you agree or disagree? Is it contingent? No, I'm not answering the question. I agree or disagree? About the specific question? Yeah, agree or disagree? I mean, I disagree. Disagree? Yeah. Why do you disagree? Oh, well, no, 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 then that means that he has to give a sufficient reason for his yeah, point. That's yeah. the point. Why do you disagree? Well, then oh, you just said that you can make arguments without the PSR. No, no, why do you disagree? Yeah. So he can just do the same thing. I mean, he's not wrong about it. Why do you disagree? He's not going to say the same thing. I don't have to give a sufficient reason. Why do you disagree? Well, look, first of all, why do you disagree? I'll tell you about this. What's your sufficient reason? What's my sufficient reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it? But you have a sufficient reason too. I hope you know. Well, look, there's a distinction, first of all, between. Wait, no, then he just entered explosion. Test the water. I've kind of. Yeah, you've gone. He's entered explosion already. I know you're scared. No, no, no. If I argue, it tells you. 
hold on, hold on, hold on. We're testing the waters. And for some reason, there seems to be like a visceral fear, but just saying that that's the reason. Why is it wrong? No, no, no. Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? No, no, no problem. Both of you together. Why is it wrong? Do you know what Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? Do you know what necessary? No, no, don't, don't ask me questions. You're underqualified. Oh, you're you're asking, you're asking me to tell me. Tell me you're, you're underqualified. Ask, ask oh, a question. That's oh, not a point, point to be made. That's not an appeal to be made. It's just poisoning the world. It's just poisoning the world. You like to poison the world. So you like to have the science poison. That's fine. And then you're basically being dishonest. Very good. That's right. Yeah, so you're being dishonest. Now I'm asking a question. That's fine. Ask me. Why do you disagree with it? Test the water. Your argument, because that will entail something called a modal collapse. How? It's called a distribution axiom. How? The implication of A being necessary and, in, and, in, and implying that B. What's A here? What's A in this analogy? For anything, anything that analogy, exists. Anything that exists. Any, any contingent fact. Well, hold on. I'm going to say anything contingent fact. That's not what I said in my argument. But he's look, make wait, no, hold on. No, he's just giving the actual look, axiom. Look, he's giving the look, actual look, axiom. Look, you agree. My look, 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 the conclusion of your argument is that there, there exists a necessary cause or necessary. I haven't said that in my argument. He never said that. Look, he says no, he didn't say that. No, no. He doesn't need to say it. He's saying that it's an implication. He's saying it's a necessary implication. That's what he's saying. What's the conclusion? He's saying it's a necessary implication. What's the conclusion? Put your head together and actually ask the implication. What's the conclusion of your argument? No, don't What's the conclusion of your argument? My conclusion is as follows. Or my postulation is as follows. There cannot be a state affairs only dependent things exist yeah. test the water tell me why is it wrong you understand you can have contingency you understand you can have contingency you can have contingency why is it wrong you understand, you can, you, it wrong? you understand you can have contingency arguments under an atheistic i don't care about all that tell me why it's wrong then you don't care about his reason then you don't care about his reason why is giving the reason why what did he say then 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 what did he say what did he say? He said, no, hold on, what did he say? He said, perfectly consistent with atheistic, naturalistic account. Yes, sir, right? what is? The what you just said. They cannot be, they, look, you can have some necessary grounding and it not be like an agent that caused like the reality to exist. You never said cause. It doesn't, no, hold on. doesn't exactly. matter. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Exactly. You never said cause. You never said necessary cause. Doesn't, doesn't matter. You never said that. Doesn't have to be cause. Yeah, exactly. Look, why, why you running? Why, why, why are you saying it's true? No one's running. You're just using a different word. Test the water. Test the water. Why is there not a sufficient explanation? No, you said no. Is there any? No, no, no. No, 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 I'm asking you evidence. Is there, is there, is there, I'm asking you a question. You see this shift of the burden of proof? You have, you have a claim, test the you have a particular possibility. We've asked for a suggestion. He's just saying test the waters, but again, like, the point is that the actual statement itself. What's your argument? 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 You are the one presenting argument to me. No, you said, you said it's wrong. You said it's wrong. I said, yeah, Does he have to give us a special reason why? Wait, why? So then why are you saying that he has to give us a special reason why? Why don't you and I? Test the water. Wait, test the water. So I have to give a sufficient reason why you don't. I don't mind. Go, go first. Wait, so you're saying it's so wrong. You Why can is it wrong? Wait, so you can deny it? Is it wrong? You said it's wrong. You said it's wrong. Wait, wait. Why so, is it wrong? Wait, so the PSR right. can be denied. wrong for a reason. Are you saying the PSR can be denied? It's dismissed without evidence. It's already said that he can say so. That's why he's wrong. What's the reason? Is there such a reason why the PSR can be denied? Why is the PSR wrong? Why is it wrong? And look, whoa. You're not even listening to me. Why is the argument wrong? Why is the argument wrong? Because your argument holds a strong version of the PSR. And the strong version of the PSR. Oh my. Why is it wrong? What sort of evidence is wrong? Why is it wrong? Do you understand English? Why is it wrong? He's saying the reason why is because his the argument relies on a certain version of the PSR and gives certain implications. That's what he's trying why? to say. Why? Well, he's just saying why? Why? Because it results in a moral collapse. There has to be an axiom. How? Show me how. I'll show you how. Yeah, exactly. That's an axiom. But we're saying that when you make the contingency argument, the contingency argument relies on the PSR. Right. And what's the wrong? He's saying no. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. That's what he's saying. Yes. So does he say? So it's necessary. No, that's different. He's okay. saying that just, so in order to have a contingency argument in general, you have to use the PSR to some degree. Now, either you're going to use the strong version of the PSR or the weak version. Now, we're trying to see whether the strong version is going to entail modal collapse, because it does. But how does that, how does that refute his argument? His argument is that I'm going to just say a statement and I'm not going to give a sufficient reason. You said it's wrong. You said it's wrong. Why is it wrong? Not every argument has to have a premise. Why is it wrong? Not every argument has to have a premise. Exactly. You can, yeah, but that's what he's doing. He's not making a premise. He's making an argument based upon that. No, no, he's no, no, that's a postulate. He made a postulate. Yeah, that's fine. That's not an argument. For what, the, the, my, an argument has a conclusion. Not a sufficient reason. But his argument has look, a conclusion. Look, no, his so argument is just there must be a necessary being. That is a conclusion. That's not a conclusion in his argument. His argument is that that there is not anything that there cannot be any state of affairs where there are only contingent things. Sorry, only dependent things. So there is a conclusion, right? Right. That means that he has to make that in another statement. It's not going to be in the same statement. It's going to be another statement. So now you have two statements. No, no, no. It's connected to that statement. Right. Therefore, there has to be. So is it the same statement as the one before? 
Oh, I see where you're coming from. Right, right, right. So, so wait, you wait, have wait, one wait, argument. Wait, 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 so you can't have a premise. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that when you make an argument, you have to have multiple premises. Not necessarily. Right, which is what you're saying. Right, so give an argument that doesn't have a premise. But you know what his argument is. His argument is the first. I'm asking you for an example. An example of an argument that only has one premise. He just did. He just did. He gave a postulate. How? Okay, if you want me to explain. Yeah, Look, do you know what the crux is? Explain it in your way. Hold your language. No, no, hold Don't ask me about things. You're underqualified. I'm underqualified. That's not the point. I'm underqualified. If I'm underqualified, you should know. Okay, okay. We can grant it an objective fact, but that has no relevance to the argument that's being made here. What's a model class? What's a model class? We're talking about model class. What's a model class? What's a model class? What's a model class? I just want to know what Are you going to let him speak? Are you well, he's gonna asking him what's Are you going to let him speak? Don't speak. Uh, We're wasting your time. We spoke to him last week. Really? So we're Allah, we spoke to him. No, no, no. Yeah, it's a book. I'm asking him my question. Yeah, he's saying no, modal The same, same problem. Explain why is a you've got modes. Yeah? You've got different modalities. Right? Mm -hmm. What modality are you using? I've used the word dependency. What modality are you using? I'm not using contingency in the system. What modality are you using? those modalities. What I'm not using them. Do you know what modality is? Yes, I am. I'm not using the language of modality. I'm not using the language of modality. I'm not using the language of modality. What is modality? I'm not using... What is it? You tell me. I'm asking you. Why should I ask you? You're an academic. You should teach me. You're an academic. You're the qualified person. What's the modality? Okay, so what's the modality? I'm not using the model categories. I'm using the word dependency. But then define the term that you're using. I'm using the word dependency. You said the word dependency. You <laughs> You're not a theist? No. Thank you. No, 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 I said a theist, like a classical theist. In a sense. Yeah. Yeah, but remember when we talked about theism before, like before we came in with the theist? Like atheist. Yeah, atheist. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. No, not an atheist. He said he's an atheist. What the hell? Why is he going to be more than Oh my god. He just said he's an atheist. He said he's an atheist. No, no, no. He said he's an atheist. Okay, it's the question. Now, I'm a classical theist. He's a different kind of theist. He's Hegelian. He denies, he denies, like, for example, he denies, like, personability. He denies miracles. I agree with that. Your particular question is contradiction of the This guy's my friend, like, I know him. Look, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? That's fine. Yeah, so for the argument, 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 the problem is he's making, the problem is, the side of the truth is that he's making an argument that will entail modal collapse. So the negation, so modal collapse, so the negation, so the negation, so the negation, I know, I know, I know, because he's saying the truth, I don't care about like who's what or what, I'm talking about the arguments themselves, that's why I cover my face, because what I say is more important to who I am. I know, and you mocked me last time for that, that's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. But Ali, when we talk about modal collapse, right? Say for example, you're making a lot of people. Relax, 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 relax. Really, really, like, really, really simply. Imagine an 11 year old girl wrote like everything, like wrote like great mathematical theory, right? That wouldn't disqualify her from what she's saying is true. Just because she's 11 doesn't mean that the content that she's saying is wrong. I know, I know. But what he's doing is every single time he makes fun, he's saying you're not qualified. That's an argument. What he's doing is he knows that Quality. everyone else in the audience is going to be like, oh, he's talking to an unqualified person, so we don't have to take it seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me how you're doing it. What modality are you talking about? Possibilities and possibilities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have this authority. But that's an appeal to, a for, that's appeal to authority. I don't need to be qualified to say something true. What modalities are you talking about? And you agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Give me so you can give, for example, the, like, the narrowly minded um, like modal logic. You can have the... What, what modal you can have? What do you mean by modal logic? I don't know what hijab is doing. What do you mean by modal logic? I asked you the first one. I want to ask you. What do you mean by modal what is Why does the burden keep shifting? Why is the burden keep shifting? No, I don't know what I mean. The burden should not be shifting. What do you mean by modal collapse? You need to what do you mean by modal collapse? A modal collapse yes. is where the modal predicates of some, of some, of some modal like what? Give me an example of which one. So let's say, for example, necessity, yeah, necessity. contingency, yeah, the possibility. I just mentioned that. I just mentioned that. Result. Exactly. Result. Just mentioned. It just mentioned that. Yeah. Please. Yeah, yeah, please. Let, let, him let, let him finish. Please. please. Yeah. Yeah. What happens is in a modal collapse, yeah. one of the modal properties, one of the modal predicates, collapses into all things. You're making so assumptions. Show me how. No, let him go. He's giving a definition. 
giving a definition. That's not a proof. That's a definition. You're asking for proof. That's not a proof. That's a definition. What are you talking about? Why can't we Because he said it's proof the definition. No, no, no. Because he said no. Because he said it's proof the definition. He's coming in. He's coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, no, no. But he said no. But he said prove it. No, no. Because he said prove it. You're both coming in. You're Yeah, but no. Because he said no. When did I disrespect you? But if you're both coming in, it's two on one. He came in. He said if you're both disrespect. No, no, no. But he's coming in. He said I was disrespectful. How was I? He's coming in. I never did. No, no. Because you're saying we're saying how was I disrespectful? All I'm saying is that he's coming in. Okay, great. How was I disrespectful? Why are we getting both coming in and talking about modality? So how was I disrespectful towards you? You told me so far that modality is modal predicates. You're wrong about that. No, 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 I'm not You're saying that. You're wrong about that. I said no, no, no. that. No, no, no. I modality asked what modality is. What is modality? Modality. What is it? Modality of different views in which you can say something is or is not possible. Now look, there are going to be, those, there are going to be laws of different ways. How is that going to be, how is that going to be expressed? Give me an example of modality. So look, you can use David Lewis's modality, for example. Say again? David Lewis's modality. And he's going to say, for example, David Lewis? Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. So he's going to say, for example, that all possible worlds are actually existing yes, okay. at, at the same time. No, but no, I mean, that's modal realism. Hold on, hold on. That's modal realism. And under, and, no, no, you're wrong, hold on, hold on. He's and giving one type and of and under, so and under, modality. And under, and under, and yes, and no, no, sorry, no, no, that's a modal predicate. So what, so what, no, what are you saying, modal predicate, collapse? Look, when you say modal collapse, what do you mean? A modal collapse is where we have a modal system, yes. and it collapses into how? one modal predicate. Give me an example how, give me an example. So your argument, your argument. No, no, give me an example. Your argument. Show me how. Your argument. Show me how. So your argument. After working out. Okay, that's what use it, it, use it yeah. with um, the example. So, so, like, so like all possible worlds no, no, no. collapse into one. Let him say it. Look, so look, let's say for example, we have a possible world in which, oh, look, look, let's say we have a, let's say we have a necessary being. And a necessary being has an essential property about it. Let's say, necessity. Yeah, let's say, let's say yeah, necessity. Fine. Yeah. Now, whatever the essential property about the necessary being yeah. explains, like is going to entail what it explains. That's called the distribution axiom. Under the, uh, sorry. But that's not how that's not the argument. Hold on. That's not the argument. Oh my, you, gave me, you asked me to give me an example. I'm giving you an yeah, example. Yeah, but that's not how I'm, I'm Hold on. Hold on. You asked me to give an example. I'm yeah, giving you an example. You've argument. asked me to give you an example. Oh, I'm giving you an example. So, so tell me how that applies to my argument. So the reason why I pass to your argument. Yeah, go on. Now, now this way. Yeah. You believe yeah. in an agency. I didn't say that in an argument. It doesn't matter. I never said that. No, but that's talking about our beliefs. It's all our beliefs. It's all our beliefs. He's saying that you interpret. Hold on, hold on. Tell me how that applies to my argument. Go, go. Test the waters. Test the waters. Just repeating test the, test the wars doesn't mean anything. Test the wars. Test the wars. Test the wars. Go, go. I'm not going to do it. Go, test it. Test it. Let's get into it. Test the wars. Your argument is fallacious. Tell me how. It's cool. How? Look. Is there a sufficient reason as to why you're possible? You're asking me questions. You're asking me questions now. Exactly. Tell me now. This, why is it fallacious? Why I'm testing yep. you. Yes. Test, the wars, test, the yep. test, test the wars now. Tell me why it's wrong. Test the wars. To show how you're in argument. Tell me why it's wrong. Why is it modal collapse? Why is it modal collapse? Tell me that. Because it's going to collapse into a view from necessitarianism. What's my argument? What's my argument? What's my argument? Your first. You made a posture. Wait, hold on, hold on. Necessitarianism is not incoherent. It's not incoherent? It's not incoherent. It's not incoherent. It's not incoherent. Okay, so you believe. Oh, you understand that necessitarianism is, and in all possible worlds, yeah, yeah, yeah. So God yeah. had to have created the world. Yeah, it's not coherent. It's not logically oh, incoherent. No, no, hold on, hold it's on, not hold logically hold incoherent, on. is no, it? To your view. To okay, your view. Good. How is it contradictory? To your view. How is it contradictory? Because God, is, God has free will. I don't believe. God has free will. I don't believe necessarily. I'm saying how God, does God have free will? No, no. Now you're going to theology. I'm saying does God have free will? That's theology. That's theology. That's theology. That's this theology. That's the last one. I'm saying this is an entailment of your view yeah. that you're going to You're going to religion. This is an entailment of religion. your view that you're going to reject. I don't care. You, 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 you don't, don't care about the rejection the then. That doesn't mean anything. anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not even engaging Test the waters. My postulation was as follows. There cannot be a state of affairs where only dependent things exist. The reason why is it wrong? Because it entails a modal collapse of necessity. How? Because in the argument, yeah. the thing that's going to sufficiently explain yeah. the contingent fact, right, is going to explain it either in virtue of an essential feature or a contingent feature. If it's a contingent feature, it's going to rely Sorry, in, virtue of what, in virtue of what? In virtue of an essential feature or, essential a, feature of what? or a contingent feature, essential feature of, what? Of, the expo of the explanation. What okay. do you mean? Okay. 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 Sorry, Aksmanandu. 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 So look, you're going to say now there's okay. going to be a sufficient reason that is going to explain the reason why the postulation now look, either, either, it's very simple, it's, and I was contrastive, either the thing is true or the thing is not true. You're saying the thing is true. Look, hold on. You're saying it's not true, so why is it not oh, true? Oh, 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 I, You're oh, saying it's not true, oh, why is it not true? I haven't said it's not true. I'm trying to pick out certain words stop? that he's look, using. Let him finish the argument. Tell me why it's listen. wrong. Tell me why it's wrong. Calm down. You've got to let him finish the argument. We can say the same thing about you. We can say the same thing about you as well. And we can look around and do words as well. It doesn't mean anything. Look, I don't care, bro. That's fine, but he's making an argument. Central feature? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. If it's contingent, we already agree. It's not going to sufficiently explain the reason I said 
Okay. I said, oh my God. I'm not saying no, you're presupposing no, the most. Okay. So you're using language. So what you're saying before is wrong. No, no. I'm not using okay. modal language. Cannot is impossibility. No, no, that's modal no, no. language. Yes, it cannot, is. No, cannot, what, cannot, what does cannot mean? Cannot, cannot, what does cannot mean? No, let me explain then. So yeah, 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 yeah. What does cannot mean? Cannot mean so there's two kinds of impossibility. Right, let them do it. Let them do it. Let me do it, let me do it. Bro, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. Let me do it. Like this, I'm unless you're losing. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Brother, there's no I'm winning or losing. losing. What you're saying is wrong. Can continue. Okay, brother, you're not in the position to judge that. You're underqualified. You're not even done No, no. Anyone that can think has a position to judge. That is so wrong. Your opinion is wrong. Any individual, thank you, John. Any individual that can think that has an opinion can be that. Any individual that can think that has an opinion is wrong. I can explain the truth. I can explain the truth. I can explain the truth. I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. I don't want to be a pedant here. I didn't say that my argument doesn't entail, doesn't entail uh, modalities. I didn't say that. That you'd be right if you said, well, if I cannot, in your, in your specific argument, it entails an impossibility. I'm not saying that. I didn't use the language of impossibility. That's fine. No, but what, was, what was my response? Yeah, if you fine, listen fine, to me, you have my response. Fine. What I'm saying to you is this. Fine. I'll accept mm -hmm. for the sake of to, 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 to move forward with this thing. I'm going to say to you, I'm so saying it's impossible for the sake of argument. I am saying, yes. I'm, I'm going to now use the language of modality. I'm going to use the language of modality to help the situation. No, 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 what type of modality no, are you using? Let me say, I don't know what you mean. Let me say, let me say, let me say, let me say, let me say I'm saying it's impossible for there to be a state of affairs mm -hmm. where only dependent things exist. Mm -hmm. Impossibility, the opposite of it is necessity. So obviously, the kind of, the, the kind of, excuse me, man. The kind of modality that I'm negation. using is a negative necessity. I am using that. And that is in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the tables and the grids of modal logic. So I'm asking you a question now. Can you disprove that? Show me how it works. Okay. Disprove it, man. Test the words. Within any axiom yeah. of any modal um, system, you're going to have like three of the first modal axioms. Okay? You're going to right. have the case system. You're gonna have the T system. Okay. You yeah. have the M system. Why does it lead to modal collapse? The reason why it leads to the modal collapse is because within the K system, there's going to be something called the distribution axiom. Okay. Whereby, How's it yeah, yeah. whereby if you have A, what's A in this, in this situation? A would be, for example, yeah, yeah. the sufficient reason as to why B obtains. So what? Give me in my in my so argument. How in that your goes. argument? Yes. You are, your conclusion yes. of your argument because I know you're a theist. And I know no, no, don't say I know you're a theist. So you're not a theist? No, it doesn't matter what I am. It doesn't matter. Reason why. You, you don't, you don't, you don't invoke someone's beliefs. Sorry, you don't invoke my beliefs. It doesn't matter. He's, 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 he's then tell him to leave. Right. No, no, leave him as he is. No, no, no. You're, you're allowing people to poison the wall in the audience. You also hold the qualification. You shouldn't go around people's beliefs or qualifications. Even if you're right, you're right. Let's continue. 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 I just going to mention the word God it once. Have to be. Man. I didn't even use the word God once. You're being disingenuous. Is it or isn't it? No, 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 I'm not being disingenuous. Of course you're being I didn't use the word God. You don't have to use the word God. I didn't use the word God. Is, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Is there a sufficient reason for why that contingent fact obtains? What contingent fact? I didn't use the word contingent fact. Do you know what contingent fact is? Yes, I do know. Tell me. Okay, it, it, contingency can be defined in different ways. I'm not going to go to history of it. A contingent fact. No, no. What's a contingent okay. fact? I, I don't need to tell you. I'm, I don't I need just, to tell you. you just said you were okay, telling I'll tell you what. Mm. You, you, want, you, you want to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm unqualified. You want to know? Unqualified. Go get my book, Burhan, which has been peer reviewed in Oxford yes. University every day. Great, then just so you're not quote from the book. I'm trying to show you. 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 i am trying to show you 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 i am trying
Most an opaque okay, context. Do you I'm know what they are? For any Sky will tell you the same thing. Do you know what an opaque relation is? It's okay. So the fact that you can't answer that question means that you shouldn't be speaking about something. And now you're going to try and speak about something else. It's okay. But I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you about Kozali. Okay, yeah, for any person, is there going to be one or more than one thing that explains those things, that explains those chains? That's my question. So at the end of it, what's the interval of the argument? Hold on, first, I think I'm going too far. Do you know the distinction between per se and per excellence? Listen, now you're, you're asking me a trivial question. Okay, so you don't know. respect. So you don't know. If you want so to go back to my way. So no, 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 how can you speak about the contingency well, argument if you don't know these bro, basic can, things like per se? I spoke to you one half a year ago. I told you half a year ago. I told you. I told you. You have nothing. Yes, and I couldn't even speak to you because you didn't know what you were talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. What's 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 Teacher knows more. Oh, right. so, yeah, so, so, let's, teacher, so, so let me speak to you. Teaching my lesson. You're the new student. You're the new student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No one's doing anything. We don't like you in class. Okay. We don't like you in class. How old are you? How old are you? Bro, bro, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Can you tell him to like stop? Yeah, okay. Can you tell him to stop? Okay. Okay. It's still asking trivial like, questions and, and, and pop questions. No, no. I want to know your questions. I want to know your questions. I need to know that you understand what I'm saying. Yes, no, no, no problem. If you don't know what I'm saying, I have to explain things all over again. But look, explain. Like I'm ignorant. So you're because the unqualified one here, yeah, yeah. in this innocence, right? No, I'm not, because objectively oh, I've got a degree. You should know so this. Objectively I've got a degree. Look, if you have so studied the look, objectively, you haven't even gone to university. Good, so tell me. You don't even know the distinction so between now, Are you attacking me or the argument? I'm not, well, no, no, I'm not attacking you. I'm attacking so the argument. Go with the argument. Go with the argument. You're the one that's saying. Okay, so go with the argument now, please. Test the waters, please. Go on. I've tested like 20 times. No, you haven't done it properly. Look, I want to know your argument. Is there a sufficient reason that explains why the postulate does obtain rather than it does not? What postulate? The postulate you just what's, said. What, what's my postulate? Your postulate. Say it. I'm not going to rephrase it again because you're going to do no, some no, no, sophistic no, rhetoric. No, no, no. Oh, no. you can't even say exactly how I no, said it. No, I'm not going to turn that that rhetoric. No, 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 because no, you're saying the postulate. No one is, no one is, no one is, no one is convinced of your rhetoric. Listen. Let's talk about your arguments. Okay? And your argument is not good. Okay, tell me why. I've told you why. Why you said it's wrong? I'll say to you one more time. Yeah, is why, there why? a sufficient reason yeah, as to why yeah. your postulate obtains rather than it does not? Yeah, of course. Okay, then now you're using PSR. Given, not, so now you're using a strong version of the PSR. Not, the, I hope you know that. No, hold on, hold on. I hope you know that, everyone. Let's, you're using the strong okay, version let's go, of the let's, PSR. No problem, let's go, let's now, go, do you know what that entails? Yes, I do know. What does it entail? You're saying it entails more collapse. What is it? No, no, no. Explain me how. What does it entail? It entails the, the affirmation of my premise. Oh my, in my opinion. God. Bro, what is this? It, it, no, no, it tells no. the affirmation of premise. Tell me why it's wrong. Is this the best you have? It entails tell me the fact that you said a premise. Is that what you're saying? You're saying what? the affirmation. No, you say well, that affirmation entails. What are you saying? No, no, I think by affirmation, it just means it tells that my premise is correct. Right? That's right. So but that doesn't oh, wait, mean. Wait, wait, wait. So it's just analytic. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that it tells my premise. Are you just throwing out analytic statements? Is that what you're doing? Can you tell me why? I can throw out analytic statements right now. By the way, I could just post it in something right now. I'm trying to be sincere with you. I'm listening to you. Because you don't even know what you're saying right now. I don't know what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, good. You can just throw out analytic statements. Let me see. That's an opinion. So I'm not an I want to know, with all due respect, why you said it entails more to collapse. So we understand that. So we have agreed. Can I write it down for you? Go write it down. Yeah. I'll get my yeah, notebook out. Just yeah. Come look. Actually, I'm not going to do that because you said it like that. <laughs> I mean, the notebook is there, so he'll do it probably after. Yeah, no, 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 no. I want to I I treat you with respect right now. Yeah. I want to see if your argument yeah, actually holds the scrutiny. Yeah. So tell me now. Look, you said, I, can, me. No, I no. can provide you an no, actual no. academic argument. No, 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 I can I'll get, get up on my phone right now and give One you the second. whole argument. No, no, I want to hear this. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. going to give you like a, maybe like a slightly longer version. Rico. Rico, listen. I have a postulate. My postulate is. There cannot be a state of affairs. You know what? I'm going to do it like this. Go on, Karen Talker, I'm just going to get out my actual argument on my phone. I'm going to read you the whole argument. I'm going to show you why it doesn't matter in time. Right. Okay? But my say. argument is as follows. Yeah. There cannot be a state of affairs where only dependent things exist. Now, you're saying that entails modal collapse. Now, what do no. we mean by modalities? My understanding of modalities, please correct me if I'm wrong, is that you've got things like possibility, impossibility, necessity. These are the modes, modalities that I think of. When you talk about modalities, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I understand by modalities. And then you say possibility is a modality. Well, look, that's a now, model of no, right? no problem. I'm, I'm just, my understanding, yeah. when I write papers, mm -hmm. when I read them, mm -hmm. that's how I understand the word modality. Mm -hmm. Modal re realism, modal instrumentalism, that's how I understand it. You're mm -hmm. saying, no, it's something else, no problem. You tell me what you mean by modality. You, just move the you tell me what you mean by modality. Through, you tell me what you mean by modal collapse. Yeah, and, and you tell me what you mean by disability. Yeah, it's just I my, my SCP. Do, do you mind, do you mind, do you see what I've just asked you to do? Yeah.
I, right he, now we're I can even I can even give you my definition of what I mean by possible. Right, so, 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 start, with, possible. start with the f- first one, so that I know. So, you want to what do you want? Do you want my definination of impossible? What's modality? What okay. is modality? So look, I'll, 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 I'll read. I'll read. I'll read it out to you. Yeah. Out to you. So. Second. What so is modality? It's just to ask exactly what we mean by something being necessary or possible right. or contingent. So that's what I was just saying, right? Okay. So now, the, the in is now, now, hold on. Now, 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 look. You're giving synonyms now, look. that will describe it. Now, 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 look. Now, look. Now, no, no, what we mean... Like hold on. No, no, no. Well, when but, I say sorry, now, what we sorry. mean it's by it's modality yeah. is going to be entailed by a particular view in modal logic that we have. No problem. Now, I'll give you some examples. Okay. You have modal realism. You yes. have modal fictionalism and yes. you have modal like combinationalism. Um, com- combinationalism. Yeah. Yeah. Those are three different modalities. No, no, but hold on. Now hold on. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. Hold fine. on. Hold on. Now, given that they are different modalities, no, no, different mod. Hold on. Let yeah. me finish. What I'm saying different, modalities, different modalities, modalities are going so to be different. Frameworks. Frameworks. Now, let me give you. Let me give you. Let me give you. So the Aristotelian, so the Aristotelian causal kind of modality, they're going to say for a non-actual state of affairs S is possible either if S is actual or if something exists with causal power, bring it about S. That's going to be an entailment of what they mean when they say possible or necessary. That's going to be their modality. Okay, now, when I so ask you for your modality, uh, yeah. you have to give me your system no, no, so no, I can no, understand no. what you're saying. Now, if you don't have a modality... No, you're, you're talking... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let this be a conversation. Hold Let this be a conversation. I know, I know. I know. Let this be a but conversation. Give, let me just say one Let this be a I'm going to give you what I mean when I say possible. So okay. Like you ask a question and you answer. Same I'm question. Gonna, I hasn't finished his statement. He statement. gets to finish his statement, but he you doesn't. Ask me, you asked me three questions. You do, you do. Okay. No, no, no. I want the first question. So what is what? Can you say in a sentence? What is modality? Look, modality is what we mean and yeah. what is going to be entailed by a particular view that we hold in a modal framework. Give, give me an example. Modal realism. Modal okay, fiction. So that's, that's where the cross purpose is happening. Good. Good that we are. We done this. Yeah. Because when you say modality for me. I'm thinking, does he mean possibility, necessity, impossibility? So those things are going to be... Fine, fine. These are modalities. They're going to be defined. No, 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 hold on. That's how I understand it, though. I understand. But I'm saying... Do you understand it? In terms of the literature... No, the literature, that's how they use it, bro. They say modalities. In terms of the literature... They use it like this. Look, there's going to be nuance. You have to understand that. When we read philosophy... Okay, whatever. But that's how I read it. Possibility, necessity, contingency, and dependency, these things are modal predicates. No, but they also use modalities. They are predicates. I've read it as modalities. They are predicates. They are modalities in so far as they make... They are modalities in so far as they are made intelligible by a framework. Fine, fine. We need to get specific So they're not modalities in themselves. So they're not modalities in themselves. They are predicates that are put onto things. So let me explain to you. Allow me to come back. Why are you getting frustrated for Because it's just, because you're supposed to be like the person that has the, the, the saying you're supposed to be. So it's just really hard. I'm, I'm asking I, you. When I talk to people that don't have so, so, Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do me a favor. Go ahead, go ahead. Me and you are talking cross purposes. Yeah. If you want to advance the conversation, mm-hmm. then we need to know what we're talking about. What I say when I say this, what you say when you say this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's you're saying, saying that you Okay, so good. The frameworks, I, modal realism, yeah. and for example, anti-realism, whatever you want to call it. Exactly. Different terms for it, yeah? Mm-hmm. That I understand as frameworks. They're different frameworks. Mm-hmm. You're saying no, these are modalities. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you want to call them that, I don't, I've not read them as that, no problem, whatever, I don't care, yeah? But I understand that's what you mean by that. When you say modal collapse, are you talking about realism and anti realism now? No, okay. no way near. Okay, that. good, okay, so good. So when you say modal collapse, mm-hmm. what do you mean by that? So remember, in a modality, we have possibility, we have necessity, and we have contingency, and yeah. we have impossibility. Yeah, you got four. Now, in a modal collapse, what occurs is that in a world, in a possible world or in all possible worlds, all Sorry, in a possible on, world, or in a possible world or in all possible worlds, yes. the modal predicates collapse into one modal predicate. Which would be necessity. Now which, would be, which could be necessity, yeah. it could be contingency, fine, fine. it could fine. be possibility or impossibility. All right, right, yeah. That is what a modal collapse is. Okay, now, so, the so specific why is, argument why is that presenting... Why is that incoherent? Now, hold on, it's incoherent to a view that you hold. And also... So depending on the view, it's going to no, be no, also, like hold on. incompatible. No, no, hold on. So it's it's, it's going to be, it's gonna be incompatible something. with particular strong intuitions we have about the nature of reality also. Now, Say that again. we can explain, I can explain those things. Say that again. It's going to be incoherent with really strong intuitions that we have about the nature of reality also. So even though, for example, like necessitarianism is going to be entailed by a modal collapse, by a strong PSR, it's going to be incompatible with, with, with so, the intuitions okay. about, I think about I the think I understand what you're saying. Bro, I think I understand it. Now, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, just, so I know what you're saying. Do it, I'm going to give you my whole... Bro, can, can I just say, can, can I just say, bro, please, I beg, I want to understand go, what you're go, saying, bro. Go, 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 go. It's, it's, it's what you're saying effectively uh, tantamount to the following. If you have a necessary being in one possible world, you have a necessary being in all possible worlds. That's true. That's true. That's I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, he's I gonna say... No, hold on. Excuse me. I, that is the ontological argument. 
I'm, look, excuse me. I'm saying to you, I agree with that. That if that's what you're saying, perfect. Now we've got somewhere, bro. Now we've got somewhere. But I beg you, look. We started off by saying the following: there ca cannot be a world. There cannot be a state. There of cannot affairs. be a state of affairs where everything that exists in the world is contingent. No, not contingent. Only, only dependent. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, no, 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 hold on. Can I just ask you one question? Please, please. Is there a distinction between Please, allow it, allow it, allow it, allow it, allow it, allow it, allow it. Now, what you said is that when you say modal collapse, now that you've identified what you mean by modal collapse, I actually don't even disagree with you. If, there's a, if there is a necessary being in a possible world, then there is a necessary being in almost in all possible worlds. We agree. Now, fine. The question that's what is, you mean by it. Hold on. That's why, that's okay, that's that's my question is, excuse me, let me just, now, now that we agree now, Effectively, we agree, brother. Yeah. We agree now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not granting that it is a necessary I, I, being. I know, I know. I'm just saying, that. given that it would be yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be yeah, a remain true or possible. I know that. That is the ontological argument. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. I'm sure, I'm completely aware of that. You've added the yeah, reverse okay, ontological good. argument? Cool, cool, cool. Doesn't work. The ontological argument is horrible. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. You said you are. Even That's fine. That's enough for me. I take your word for it. Tell me why that contradicts my premise. Why? Now that's where that's the fight is. Okay, now remember, that's where the fight remember is. what the contingency argument is. I know the what it is. The contingency argument is an attempt to reason from the fact that contingent objects are unexplained to that something that's not contingent explains them. Now look, if it's the case that necessitarianism is true and a modal collapse follows from that, all then contingent all contingent predicates become necessary. Yeah. Meaning there's no contingency argument. Oh, I get what you mean. Okay, so, so it's self-defeating. No, 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 hold on. So it's, it's, no, that's no, it, finish. Hold on, hold on. Alas. No, no. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But here's, nice what, no, here's what we will say. We, there's a response to that. I understand. There is a response to that. I know. Yeah. Because we, what we're talking about is that you've got a necessary being. We accept there's a necessary being. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's the case that there's a necessary being, mm -hmm. and whatever comes out of that necessary, or whatever is manifest from that necessary being, mm -hmm. is also necessary, mm -hmm. then there is no contingent things. Mm -hmm. That's basically what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Def, that's what you mean by modal collapse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Now I understand what you're saying, bro. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'll be saying the same thing. to say the same thing for like three hours. Yeah, that's been dealt with by our scholars. Yeah, how's it been dealt with? Oh, uh, yeah, so quick, great. So we've got, I've got actually a whole chapter on this. Yeah, on the book. Fantastic. Yeah? yeah. You can read it. Okay. From one perspective, you're actually right. So whatever comes from the from the necessary thing is necessary. From one perspective, I'm necessary, you're necessary, and he's necessary. Because anything that comes from the from the necessary is necessary. But here's here's the argument. When I say dependent things, I put a little asterisk there. Now listen to this, yeah. He has to qualify it, doesn't now he? Now I have to qualify it. Yeah. Because everything from one perspective is necessary, I accept that. Ah, oh, by supposition maybe? No, no, let me, let me explain now, because now yeah, we're getting somewhere. Sorry. From another perspective, I'm saying that in abstraction. Now I'm still about that. You know what you say, if, if P equals Q, P therefore Q, if that's coming from necessary, it must be necessary. I accept from one perspective. That's the thing with the cosmic skepticism, and down the side I'm saying, I accept from one perspective. From another perspective, I don't accept. What is that other perspective in abstraction? This bottle in abstraction is not, there's nothing necessary about it. It doesn't have the intrinsic qualities of necessity. I would, um... No, do you get it? What I'm saying is, uh, that, uh, that, what I'm saying is that dependent things in abstraction are not necessary. They can only be necessary by virtue of another, which is the necessary thing. So well, that's a, uh, wait, hold, hold, on, on. hold on. So that's a, that's a particular view of not only dependence, but also um, contingency, right? What, what the modal collapse objection, so people like... Do you understand my point? Yeah, yeah, you're saying that there are two ways in which you can view it. That's what you're saying. Now, the first from view, one so from one perspective, he's yeah. arguing that in some sense, yeah. everything can be considered as necessary. Yes. Now, would it be fair to your position to say that there is no other, that, that this is the best state of affairs that um, the necessary being could have actualized? Would that be fair to your position? That's the position of Ghazali. That, that's fair, that's fair. That's but I'm asking, my, I don't know, I don't have a... Yeah, I'm, I'm, asking, looking, I'm looking into that. Yeah, I see, I, so that, for one, example, that one there yeah. is a good question. So in my reading of like um, Ghazali, for instance, right? Yeah. Like I would say that Ghazali posits that that might be the case, but I don't think, um, let's say yeah, dogmatically, yeah. I don't think that he has to hold to it. You, you are right, because there's actually a discussion, I know, I know, but, a discussion about that. Yeah, I know, but, no, but like, what, what I'm saying, saying is, is... It's a good question. I don't, it's I'm not good, on that. No, that's fine. So, that, that, that one there is actually a good question. Yeah, but, but that's what we're talking about when it comes to the... Just please, yeah. So yeah, when, when it comes yeah, to the mode of yeah. collapse objection, um, I'm going to use different terms, because, by the way, I hate analytic philosophy, okay? okay. Um, Me too. I'm a scholastic. I don't like analytic philosophy. I have to do with it when I do Yeah, we don't want to use, like, analytic terms. So why are you on his side? Because you're more familiar with it. What? 
<laughs> are you not? Are you? It's not about science. It's not about science. What are I'm you saying? saying it's not the argument. 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 It's not the if you sit down, necessarily wouldn't be able to walk either. These are the distinctions that he gives. So there's a certain kind of necessity in the second definition that wouldn't um, yes, tell in the first. Right, right. But you're saying so. Then you're agreeing with me, saying that there is necessity by supposition, yes. not necessity absolutely. That's right. Now this is the issue, though. This is the issue that I would say. I would that's say the third that. Way. Yeah. The, the, I, I, the, the, I, I, the, that's not the third way itself. The third way has to no, be. No, no, don't tell them. I'm saying that. No, bro. Can, can I just tell you something? Yeah, go, go, go. On. The third way of Thomas Aquinas. Right. Most scholars maintain that it was taken from Ibn Sina. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree right. that like so, Thomas Aquinas, like no, 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 get, he, he references Ibn Sina, but the problem I is, get, is... I get it, but what I'm just trying to say to you is... No, go on, go on. What I'm saying to you here, yeah. what I'm saying to you here, yeah. is not different from the third way entailment. I'm saying that whatever Thomas Aquinas said on the third way, the entailment of the third way, I follow that. Hold for on. the most part. Is the third way distinct from the first way that he makes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I would hold the view that the third way and the first way are mutually intelligent. Yeah, now, I agree with that. I don't know, but, 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 but I would say that, like, ways, but I'm right? saying that in a bike, the reason why he's saying this is only in the distinction of reason, reason. So there are like nine or ten distinctions that Aquinas gives. So we say this is in the distinction of reason, reason, which is basically just on the part of the, of the intellect itself rather than in reality. Now that, that's no, that but big he, he distinguishes them himself. No, he distinguishes them on the part of the reason, but reason. That's the I'm making the argument. No, 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 no,
I'm is, there, is there any perspective? I, I, I want to answer yeah, your question, yeah, how, right? No, no, again. The question, how is warranted? But again, it depends on what school you follow, depending on how you define dependency and contingency uh, and stuff go, like go, that. Go, go, go. No, no, right. In the Thomistic school of thought, we can say cont contingency would just be argued that considering the quiddity of the thing itself, right, is existence to be applied to it in an actual sense. So, for example, um, if I may, thank you. Yeah. Bottle of water that he just finished, great by the way, good hygiene. Bottle of water, if you consider the quiddity of the bottle, the bottle does not have to have actual existence or end, sorry, or, or essay, right? Yeah. However, if you consider God, since Aquinas' definition of God is very similar to Avicenna as well as like other new places, his definition of God is ipsum you know, S subsistence. But you're not kind of answering my question here. Oh, I am, I am. Just, just uh, let me finish, just let me finish. Trust is this me? bottle contingent? Or, yes, or but the reason it? why it's contingent is because when you consider the quiddity of the bottle in itself, That's exactly existence what isn't applied. Now, right, so you're so, going to so, so, say... Bro, what's the name again? Uh, Sig. Sid. Sig, S I I G. Listen, yo. From one perspective, the fact that God, the instantiation of this bottle is because God, the necessary existence, put it into existence. I agree with that. That's fine. Is, so, is that done necessarily? Now, that from depends. One perspective? It depends on your view, right? Yeah. I would not say even from that. I would say that if this exists, then necessarily God created. If that's what you're saying, no, no. Okay, no that, that's the thing. Right. You're saying if God, if God exists, He necessarily created that. Yes. That's what He's going to say is modal collapse. Now, no what, now, 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 what type of necessity are you using? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, go, go, go. So, necessity is dictated by the will of God. Oh, no, no, no. I, I said, when you say the term necessity itself, what does that mean? Are you what using it in a mode? So, for example, we can have modal necessity where we say that it exists in all possible worlds. So, for example, you would say, um, no, God. No. Right, that's what I'm saying. Right, right. So, what? Right, so when you say necessity, yeah. there are different usages. So no, I'm, I'm not I'm using it in that sense. Right, so what use are you using? I'm using it in the sense that it exists necessarily. You're just saying the word. I'm, I'm asking yeah, for the I'm definition. Really, no, 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 but you're saying, you're saying to me in all possible worlds. Why does that have to be all possible worlds? Right, no, no, that's, that's what modal necessity means. So when we talk no, about... We're talking about real, in, a, in a real sense or in, in an instrumental sense. No, 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 Right? So, we'll so like for example, if I take the bottle of water, right? Yeah, go, go, go. Let me explain the position. Because not, I'm, not, I'm not using David Lewis, the right? Position. Yeah, go, I'm go, go. sure. I'm not, a, I'm not a Thomas, but I'm pretty sure it's going to have to be similar. It's going to have to be similar. You're going to try and argue that. Summa quantum gentiles, though. No, I'm saying the following. In abstraction, like you no, said. Not necessarily. You said in essence. I'm, I was listening closely to what you were saying to understand. Yeah. In essence, in, there's no intrinsic attribute in this bottle. Uh, no, no, there, there is no so existence. There's no, there's no intrinsic a attribute in this bottle. There's nothing in this bottle, in essence, which has necessity in it. Okay, you agree Which has existence well, in it. As a total, has be, existence in it. So, for example, um, no, he... Okay, okay, I know I, I can, I, please, please, I, I, I know trust me, I need to qualify this, please, yeah? yeah, yeah so, Bro! <laughs> Go. I'm coming. So, when it comes to um, necessity for Aquinas, right, he makes a distinction. I'm sure you're aware of this. Right, but yeah. that's in the day. That's day actually essay. the same distinction. Oh, pardon? What's that guy called that debated uh, Graham Oppie, the Christian guy? Coons. Coons? No, 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 no. Uh, ah! The, the one who wrote a book on Aristotle and Tom, Tom Aquinas. Oh, Faiso. Faiso. Oh, my God, yeah, Ed Faiso. But Ed Faiso, okay, so I'm not a Faisarian Thomas, right? But when it comes to Aquinas, I'm talking about the work he Faiso, made that Faiso, Faiso explains in his book. Yep. That Thomas Aquinas, because that's how I understand Thomas Aquinas yeah, from Faiser. From Faiser. So you're a Faiserian so, Thomas? No, I'm not a Faiserian anything. So, so you know, you're understanding, you're understanding that, Aquinas through Faiser. One of, one of the guys that I look for, yeah? I, exactly, you're no, using Aquinas through Faiser. What Faiso. I'm saying that's is fine. that he, he distinguishes between essence and existence, right? Okay. Okay. That's notwithstanding the point, because what I'm saying to you, whether or not, he gives the following example. Is there a difference between the circle, yeah. the, the existence of it, and the essence of it? Yes. So, so is it Thomas, between he the says that two, Thomas Aquinas so. would say, that there's the, the difference is that the essence of the circle yeah. is the circularity of it. So yeah, like, like the quiddity is this definition. Yeah, sure. But I, in the definition, but, but existence is an entail. I understand, but what I'm yeah. saying is you're, you're kind of moving away from the contingency point. Is this bottle contingent on Thomas Aquinas' worldview? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Yes, in his worldview. No, no, no. Okay, okay, please, please, because, because again, bro, the, the sumas are very big, the very bro. big book, but we're referring to the Diente, which I'm, I don't know if you've read, right? Exactly, right. So read the whole sumas. I'm telling you about the Diente, right? He made this at 30 years old when he made it for his Dominican students, so I'm explaining, right? So. The bottle of water, you will consider the bottle of water in its definition. Now, if you consider the definition of the water, existence is not going to be part of the definition, and thus it wouldn't be necessary. That's what he's saying. It's not entailed in the definition of the subject that existence is there. For example, you can conceive of a unicorn without the unicorn having to exist. Yeah, sure, sure. Now, for God, you would say this, right? God is necessary because in the definition of God, God is, as Aquinas says, ipsum no, esse subsistence. I get what you're saying, but you're Existence not, is entailed in that. If I can finish, please. I get it, but you're, so not, you're, not, you're not dealing with what I'm asking. That's why it's, that's why it's contingent. That's why it's contingent. Right, okay. That's why, though. Okay, so why, why is there no... Hey, 
why is it, why is it not a modus relaxed? You, you believe in necessary being, right? Yeah. Thomas Aquinas believes in necessary being. Yeah. So why is it not a modus relaxed according to Thomas Because Christ? I accept necessity by supposition. How? So necessity by supposition with the example I gave before, Show the man me. and the leg and the, and the well, seat. Give me an example of this boss. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so How would that work? If P then Q, so we're going to have a one-way relation, right? Yes. So if P then Q. If the bottle exists, then necessarily God created it. Yes. However, the relation would not work. It's that not a bi conditional, yeah. so it wouldn't work. However, just because God exists, it would not entail the existence of the bottle. But, but that's only because but he that's the advanced But I, I have found the vice of this, the act of God's creative action is in the second act. With all due respect, uh, that's fine. what you've just said there is exactly my position. But I'm saying no, no, that no, no, that position. No, no, please, please. Because I don't like what you're doing right now. Well, what am I doing? What you're doing is yeah. you understand exactly where I'm coming from, but I feel like there's a there's a big insincerity here. I'm, what, no, 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 excuse no, no, me, excuse no, me, excuse no, me. No, no, that's not what's going on. That's not, that's not, that's not what's going excuse on. me, bro. Yeah, it's fine. That's not what's going right, on. Too. Excuse me. Yeah, that's fine. This bottle, mm. okay, I accept. I'm saying I'm articulating it in a different way. Yeah, I know. I'm saying that this bottle, from one perspective, is contingent. Yes. Because in abstraction, there's nothing within this bottle. In abstraction. Oh. In abstraction, there's nothing within this bottle. Nothing within the existence of this bottle. Which has necessity within it. Okay, you're just using necessity you're, as a like. No problem. A how I'm articulating the point. Thomas Aquinas would not disagree with what I'm, I'm saying. I'm trying to understand the point because Thomas Aquinas cannot disagree with what I'm saying right now. Do you understand what I'm right saying? Right now, no. Well, you know what I'm saying, right? I'm trying, I'm trying to walk another through. perspective. Mm -hmm. P then Q then P, uh, P there for Q. Yeah, P then Q. Yeah. More disponents. You're saying it's a one-way relationship of necessity yeah. because God is creative act. Yeah, because we can't. That's exactly the what I'm saying. I'm saying that from one perspective, it's one way. Okay. It's one way. Is because because God is necessary. He's that bottle exists because of God. Okay. That's, that's now this thing. is this is the question. What's the difference between what I believe yeah. and what you believe? Because of what the creative action is. Okay. So so let, let's break this yes. down. Right. So so what degree do you understand first and second acts like Aristotle style? Uh, just please go, tell me. Um, so that I know like how to like refer to I it. I don't know. Go, okay. Go. Okay. That's great. Yeah. So first actuality yeah. we can consider it as okay. Just just for example, could you close your eyes, please? Okay. Cool. You your ability to see is going to be what we call first act. You seeing is going to be second actuality. Okay, is that what it says, yeah? Right, right, yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, people like Palamas said the same thing, the okay. intelligent, Palamas, Gregory Palamas. Okay. Uh, the Greek theologian, okay, very go, intelligent go, 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 go. guy, whatever. Yeah. Point, point is this though. What's the point? Um, the point is that creative act has to be in second actuality. So in order for, yeah, in order for necessity by supposition has to work, yes. it has to be in second act. So with oh. actually seeing, actually seeing, right? Otherwise, God moves from potential to actuality in himself, which we can't what affirm. Thing? Yeah, go on, go on. Well, I don't understand your point. Oh, right. Second act meaning what? Um, in this example, the seeing. So if we apply that to God, we can say that the first act would be God's ability to create. Second act would be God actually creating. Now, so here's the thing. The act of creating, is that a necessary action in itself or a contingent action? We would say it's, it's determined by the will of God, right? We agree the, the, the will of God would be his act. Right, fine. Right, 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 and that's fine. That's so fine. Cool. The problem is, is we need to know. So, so if where, do we, it is, where do we differ? We differ. Well, we don't. We, okay. We differ yeah. in the articulation of whether Excellent. this creation act. Oh, no, no. We, we differ we in, differ we, no, we differ in the understanding of whether the creative act is first or second act. So you ah. said, you said, and, and this is the response that you gave. Go you on. said that the necessity, so no, so you said, you said that the act of creating is just going to be the will of God, right? It's going to be told by the will of God. Now, I understand that point that does not address the question asked. The act of say? creation, yeah, the act of creating itself, the act of creating, that's a, that's a is fine, that... Uh, I mean, what, so what? Like, yeah, is that yeah. first actuality or that second that actuality? Uh, with what the example I used before, the eyes and seeing. The eyes and seeing. Okay, okay. So first actuality yes. is. So if you just could step back a bit, a bit. That's okay. If just, Sorry? Step, just step back a bit. If that's okay. Sorry, I just need some space. Like, okay. camera thing on my leg. That's okay. why I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. I, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry, if we had chairs, it'd be great, but we don't. Do you want to go to place with chairs? We can set the cameras, no one cares. Oh, we've got time. We've got time. We've got to go. Let's just finish it. Let's just finish it. Let's finish it. Go on. What do you mean by first act and second act? So, first act, right? This is an Aristotelian term. Yeah, so, these are Aristotelian terms, yeah. Okay, so what do you mean by it? Yeah, exactly. That's what we're explaining to you. Yeah. That's right. So, if you're speaking fast, out of the way, guys. Oh, so, when it comes to first actuality, yes. think of it as the power, ability, dunamis of a thing, right? In Greek, dunamai, right? Meaning the ability to do X. 
in an example, the ability to see. This remains in act even when the ability itself is not being used. That's called first actuality. People like T. Compino will give the example of the fact that this can be act as in some sense. Okay, it's so I don't time. understand. Why is, it, is this bottle contingent or necessary in your world? It will be contingent. Okay, but is it necessary from one perspective? That it's, it's, it's necessary because of God, the necessary, necessary. By supposition only. Excellent. Same right, right, I, right, agree right, right, so I agree. Okay, I agree with what you said. Okay, you agree with what I said. Okay, so now I'm going to say so, so that you... you Pardon? You disagree with him? No, In no. what sense? So, look, so no, 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 He's Rico. I'm sick. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's cool. It's listen, cool. Listen to me. Yeah. So me and you both believe yeah. a necessary being. Yeah. And a necessary being placed into the world contingent things. Yeah. And those contingent things are necessary from one perspective only because they come from necessary. Only from so, supposition. So how would you problem. respond to his mode of collapse objection? Well, I believe in divine simplicity. Um, the creative act is second actuality. Yeah, and since it's a temporal, it's fine. Because he believes in divine simplicity, anything predicated to God is God. That's exactly my view. So we so we're, we're, you affirm the So you believe that God is identical to his creative acts? No, but no, but you don't have that's the thing. No, that's but that's you're, you're, you didn't explain in your explanation. I tried to, but then you said, brother, please. No, that's no, what you, you did. Said, no, you just said identicality. You use what I, I didn't do that, but I said I said it in an absolute sense. I want to know this because I've I read the Summa was at least the third way. How much of the Summa have you read? No, about two hundred pages. No no no, as in like like how many questions? I only read the bit. You know, you know how there's prima pass, the good nerves, the good stuff. Right, so I read the don't, don't say 200 pages, 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 like different translations. I don't really understand. I, so I just say, know, like. Uh, you ask me a question of how much yeah, I read. Yeah, if someone I, says, for example, how much of a. No, 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 for example, if I say how much of a Gus's day trying to have I read, I'll be like 15 I, chapters. I, right? I don't know, I don't know how many chapters. I, I just read the ways, innit? Oh, okay, so you just. So you haven't passed question three. You haven't passed question three, that's fine. I don't know if it's question three Is it question two? It's fine. Is it question two? Question two, yeah. Which is about the existence of God is demonstrable, then he gives arguments for so just, then you're probably on like, have you got to the perfections of God yet? I can't remember. Right, yeah, so, perfection of God, yeah. Right, right, so then like, yeah, you're, you're on question four, right? Just touching into it. Yeah, and then that is the answer. Anyway, go, the, the, yeah, 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 simplicity, yeah. Go back to the point. Yeah. My question is this. Yeah. You believe, you said identicality. Uh, no, you said I didn't use that, remember? Okay, so can you explain what you mean by identicality? I, I didn't use it, so I'm not explaining it. I, I didn't use it, you did. Oh, oh okay, good. So you don't yeah. believe that God has to be identical to his creation? Oh, 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 I can use the term now because you want me to clarify. Yeah, do you believe That's that God is identical to his creation? Uh, no. Okay, so then we don't disagree with anything. No, we don't disagree. We don't, we don't disagree on this point. So However, you, so can, can, I just, can I ask you a question? You're going to say, why am I arguing against you? Yeah, why? Yeah. yeah, because I think that maybe there may be certain entailments of your position yeah. that are different from mine. No, but I'm saying that I am sympathetic to Aquinas' third way. So why are you unsympathetic to my articulation? Be because Why even to... because in Aquinas' third way, God identifies, Aquinas identifies God as just existence itself, which you understand. So God so, so hold on, so, so, so this is important, yeah, right? Huh? That's exactly what I've seen this as. Yeah, right, right, but you would agree with me that in your articulation, Wujud is a genus. But, but, but not, but Wujud, existence yeah, yeah. is a genus. So, yeah. Right, Aquinas believes that existence is not a genus. God is not contained in self, so he disagrees yeah, that's with you. you. Right, I understand that's Imtamia's view. Uh, that's fine. People okay, like so to I'm just saying, I don't care. Like, that's semantical. That's, 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 that's not, that's not no, semantical. No, 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 if no, it's a hey, genus... If it's a genus, it's composite. Exactly, that's a problem. Exactly. And if it's composite, then it's contingent. Then it's finite, right? And if it's right? contingent, yeah, then, it, is, then it rejects no, 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 the... That's, that's why you have certain okay, philosophers that I say respond? God doesn't exist can as would do it in a genus. Can I respond? Yeah, go on, go on. What do you, uh, the, 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 what do you call the nominalist response? Oh, you're yeah. a nominalist? I'm sympathetic to the opinion. Fez? Okay. You seem not to be committed to a position, but no, that's, that's very smart. That's very smart. No, I'm... I, I want to do the same thing. I want to say like... I'm sympathetic to the opinion. I get you, I get you. What if a response to this? He says that when you say that Wedge of Jews is, uh, is a composite because it's, what do you call it, uh, genus and fossil or whatever, yeah? Which is that like genus and this is two Genus things. and species, right. Yeah, genus and species, right? Yeah. So he, his response is that it's only like that in the mind. It doesn't, that, it's not like that as an ontological existence. Mm. Ontologically, it's not really like that. It's not a composite ontologically. So then they're not distinct outside of the mind. So, so, so again, like you're breaking up Ibn Tamir very well. And um, by the way, Ibn Tamir says different things when it comes to applying it to God. No, I'm just like saying to you. But I'm, I'm, I'm just saying to you that. I know what you just that said. That doesn't have. It's inconsequential to the point. The point is this. So then you, the, we didn't need to mention it. No, no. I'm only mentioning this. So yeah. So you there's difference of opinion within Islam. I know. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm only saying to you. Yeah. Right? Well, we're this, talking about your position. Uh, my position is follows. Yeah. This bottle is yeah. continued. Okay. You agree with that? Yeah. But it's necessary from one perspective. You okay. agree with that? Yeah. Okay. He said that it tells more to collapse. Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah. No. So look, given that, the reason why this position is a bit different from yours. Yeah, go on, tell me what you think. Two things. One, he's a classical um, theist, right? So he believes that God isn't a being among beings, that God is being. Yes, sir. God doesn't even have desires in his world. What's so that in, got to do with anything, bro? I'll tell you why. He How does that affect? Like, I'll tell you. Order, order, no, so, no, God no, no. A, so God is an agent in his world. So when, so when we say, so the reason why this seems, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll, seem right, I'll explain, I'll explain, well, to, I'll explain to you why my particular, it seems like a stage though. No, 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 look, no, the reason why it doesn't work against this particular position, which I'm still studying, I'm still looking into, I'm still trying to, like, wait, so why is it not model collapse, what do you think? Because, okay, so excuse me, let me ask you a very specific question. You've read Thomas Bryan's third way? No, not all of it. Well, I mean, I've read, like, um, some of this, some of this, ways. okay, can you, can you summarize it? The third way? Yes. Is that right? the De Ante? No, 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 the De Ante argument is the, is the strongest one can you, he makes. Can you summarize the third way? I'm going to try and make sure it's distinct from the first way, right? Uh, okay, arguing for motion, I think he's going to be arguing for... Oh, right. So, essentially... No, 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 no. He's going to be like, no, basically... That's the second way. No, no, no. That's the second way. No, that's the argument from efficient cause. No, 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 that's the argument from efficient cause. Argument from possibility way? and necessity. That's, that's what they, I know. I know. I'm just trying to make sure they're distinct from the first way because it's so similar. Like, no, you're Thomas. This is easy. Yeah. Right? No, no. It's not easy to distinguish them unless you really think. Go so, on, what's the third way? I'm just give me a second. Yeah. So, for anything that exists, it is either possible or necessary. That's what he wants to prove. But he has to prove that necessary things can exist in the first place. So what he no, does? No, no, no. no, no he, he, he has to prove that necessary things no, no, can no, exist. No, no, he doesn't do this. Yes, he does. No, he, does, no, he, does, he, does. he does. I, I can pull the sumo right now. No, no, hold, hold on. Let me, can, can, we, can we just hold on? Oh, hold on. Listen, hold on, that, hold that's on. really important. Hold on, bro. So he, hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, speak, 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 speak. He starts exactly in the same way that I've said it. He doesn't try and prove a necessary thing in the beginning. I didn't say that. He said he has to prove that necessary things start no, he has to prove. No, he's, he has contingent to prove, things. Yeah, he has to think. He has to prove contingent things starting to be in the first place. No, 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 he has to prove that 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 necessary that there aren't only just contingent things. That's what he's trying to prove, right? Yeah, but he does that. He, he argues out of certain. Yeah, exactly. He okay, argues from the impossible of the contrary. Right, 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 right. How? So, so he says, right, that let us say that there are only contingent things that exist, yeah. right? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, bro. What the no, but it just sounds so similar to something I heard today. Go on. What was the thing you heard today? Go on, just oh, say. His postulation. Oh, is that what he's trying to say? Go on. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna say that for anything. Hold on, hold on. I actually want to read it in the sumo. Hold on. Why are you finding it? Just... By the way, I, I, I'm be honest with you guys. I think this yeah. is a bit disingenuous. Oh. What do you think it is? Because I don't know. Like you accept his version of the third way. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I don't use the third way. I use the Deante. No, so look, I'm still looking into the Deante. No, it's definitely not. I'm, it's so look, there, obviously you, you're aware that you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just getting it. This is Article it's Three. So the third way. This is why I try to get the third way because there are certain times that he uses to make it distinct from the first oh, way. Okay. Right. So. Basically, we find in things that are possible to be, but the way he defines possibility is that they are generatable or corruptible, right? Yes, yes. Does Ibn Sina use the same thing? No, as Averroes. Uh, oh, Ibn Rush. Yeah, yeah, Ibn Rush, right. Really cool philosopher, by the way. I like him, I like him. Okay, keep going. So, we find in nature things that are possible to be and not to be, and consequently, they are possible to be and not to be. So, just establishing the just impossible things. Now, it is impossible for contingent things to always exist because in the definition of it, at some time, they could have not existed or they didn't exist. And so, it is impossible for these things always to exist, for that which is possible not to be at some time isn't existing. So let's say that there was a time where there was no contingent things, there would be nothing. But evidently, there is something, so, therefore okay, okay. there would be necessary Beautiful. things. So he's saying that it's impossible for there to be a situation where there's only contingent things that exist. Well, by necessary, he's also including angels. So for example, when Aquinas talks about... Um, How about, do you agree with that? He's trying to show the impossibility ah. of the existence of only contingent things. Would you agree with that? That he's trying to show the possibility. He's, yes. He's, he's showing the impossibility. Oh, impossibility. Yes, 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 yes. Of only contingent things. Yes, 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 yes. Do you agree with that? Yeah, that's a sufficient reason. No, why is it sufficient reason? That it is impossible. Why is it impossible? Right. The reason why it's impossible is let he's using a proof by contradiction. Yes. So let's say that we assume that this thing is the case. So assume the contrary is the case. The contrary would entail a contradiction and thus we would enter explosion. So we can't uh, tell that view. Do you agree with this? That's the sufficient reason. I agree with that. That's the sufficient reason. I agree with that argument. Is that a sufficient yeah, reason? Yeah. Yeah. Is, so I then, so then but, but guess what, we guess what? Agree with the same but, but, but wait, guess what, guess what? Really? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. But guess what, guess what? That is exactly but, what But guess what? That, that means that, as, as a Thomas, but that means, guess what? Hold on, guess what? Guess what? That means Aquinas used the PSR. No problem. Right, that's what we're saying. Now, now, let's just clarify what you said before, right? Hold on. Bro, there's nothing, is it there's possible? To it. Is it possible? It. Uh, hold on. There's is it possible? It. Is it possible that there are PSR defiant things? That there are things that defy if, the PSR? If you ask me, bro. Yeah. No, I don't believe that. Right. Thank you. And no, then no, that then. That. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what I was saying about the PS office, yeah, yeah, yeah. that my articulation argument didn't didn't have the same language as no, Leibniz. That's agree, all I'm saying. We, agree, we, we know we we, we, we already understood that like three hours ago. But we're saying that you still had to use the PSR. That's what we're saying. Oh, fine, I get what you're saying. And Thank I'm you. I, to do that. I know, but like no, this but, is no, why I, like I did, I did mention that to him, bro. Well, I, said, I agree. So, I've said it. You agree that? So can can we? I didn't think it would end this way. I have to say. I, I didn't think. I didn't think it would end in the way that we can now get to implication, right? Well, the no, implication no, no, no. is going to be. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. no, no. The, the, okay, so the, so the implication of okay, the so implication okay, of Aquinas is okay. arguably okay. necessary, being, but now we're getting no, 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 into. Me, the implication, according to Aquinas, the existence of a necessary thing. Correct. No, that that's correct. Of necessary things in general. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Clearly goes for one. And he, and he no, 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 that's false, 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 that's false. No, 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 no. And, and the reason I understand that is because angels, even by Facebook, book, and you've read Facebook, book, right? No, 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 he says that angels are necessary okay, me, and he has to distinguish let between let necessary per allude and necessary per se. That's what I was saying, brother. Can I say something? Yeah, go, 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 on. What you just, per, what, what's the other one? Per allude. Per allude is yes. what I was saying, in abstraction versus... No, 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 no,
his view of the PSR, as other people like Halil and Daniel pointed out, is that, that there is no way in which like different worlds can exist. This is the best possible world. It's necessary. There is no other way that God could have created the world. It's the only way that God could have created the world. Now, here is the problem. Depending on his view on the PSR, it's going to lead to different things. Now, Christians, he tried to do a big display earlier that he's going to go and pray in front of everyone. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and pray my Vespa. I don't need to record me praying my Vespa because I don't care about whether other people can see me praying. If you're a Christian in the park, you can come and pray with me. But I'm going to go and pray my Vespa. See you later. Thank you, bro. Thank you. See you. I need to go and pray my Vespa.